Welcome to the Canary District. During the games, this will be a temporary home away from home for thousands. But when the athletes, coaches and officials move out, students, stores and condo owners will move in to what will be the city's newest neighborhood. This is Toronto transformed. And one of the men in charge is the president of Dundee Kilmer Developments, Jason Lester. Thanks so much for meeting me here. You're welcome. You know, for the people who are watching us from across the country and won't recognize this piece of property, what used to be here? What did this look like? So for the past 20 years, this, there was nothing here. This was a brownfield site wow. that was a forgotten part of the city of Toronto. So then, <laughs> this is a major transformation. How do you describe what is all around us now? So what we have is almost like an instant neighborhood where there's going to be 7,000 athletes staying here and their trainers and their uh um, the coaches officials well. and coaches and everybody exactly. here. So this will be uh, first job for this athletes village, and and these are the buildings where they'll all around us. Is that right? That's correct. There's eight buildings in total, and that's where they'll be staying. I'm interested to see their accommodation. Would you mind showing me around? Absolutely. All right. So I call this a, a home away from home, and I'm curious to see it and where the athletes sleep. Here. This is your typical bedroom unit. We've got a bunk beds, we got single beds. In total, we'll have between eight and 10 athletes for this townhouse unit. Yeah, this is a townhouse unit. So, cheery colors, I mean, dorm style, but spacious. Absolutely, and it's something better than the athletes have normally had in previous games. I would say so. Linens ready to go because, let's take a look as we go back out. Closet space for them and bathrooms, I mean, for 10 athletes, a mm -hmm. couple of bathrooms, good size, one there, a second one here. And as we said, this is a townhouse, so there's a whole lower level below us. Um, what are you gonna do to this unit when it's finished the athlete's village part and then you're transforming it for, for condo ownership? Sure, so after the games, we've got six months to add the kitchens, the final flooring, which may be carpeting or wood flooring. Okay, so this goes, is it? This, this is just the basic concrete. Right, that's just the base coat, exactly. And then that will be all completed by March of 2016. And then there's an instant city where there's over 2,000 residents living in the Canary District. All part of the transformation. Let's go back outside and talk more about that. Absolutely. I love the Muskoka chairs everywhere, Jason. It's ultimate Canadiana. <laughs> yeah, great addition. It's great. So we've seen the condo units inside. Here we are outside. I guess, is that one of your condo buildings? Yes, it is. That's a brand new condominium. Condominium. That's 400 units. And then behind you over here is a affordable rental building. There's another affordable rental building behind it. And then behind us here, this is George Brown's first residence. It's That's a college. Beds, George Brown College. And then behind the college is a brand new YMCA. It's 82,000 square feet where over a thousand people are gonna visit each day. That's amazing. Condo, affordable housing, student housing, YMCA for families. It's a really mixed neighborhood, isn't that's, it, that you, that you have created? That's correct. And then in addition to that, there's also 40,000 square feet of retail, which will house about 15 to 20 uh, retail tenants. And those retailers, you've you selected those, haven't you, according to a certain vision or theme? That's correct. We, we, we went through a selection process where we took the best of retail as it related to health and wellness because of the, the games use on an interim basis, but also the fact that we're surrounded by parks. We have a YMCA, one of the largest city of Toronto. We thought of theming it to health and wellness. So we have a bike store coming here. We have a great coffee shop. We have eateries that are health themed. And all of this combines into a very cohesive, defined network of, of, of a community of, of, of renters and residents all alike. You know, it's such an impressive vision, but I covered Vancouver in 2010 and we remember what happened with the Athletes Village there because the developer went bankrupt and the city had to come in and take over control. What are you doing to avoid that situation? I think a lot more planning went into these games. So There's a lot of lessons learned that we, uh, that we visited Vancouver as well as the city and the, and the province. And what we came out of it was that, you know, fortunately we didn't have a financial crisis for the last five years. Mm -hmm. So it was well planned, but it's really the collaboration with all our different partners, whether it's our, our building partners, our sub-trades. There's a there's real sense of, proud, of pride in, in doing a project this large. I look around and I'm hearing the voices of critics who say, ah, a major event like the Pan Am Games, you know, it's cost so much and it's an inconvenience. It doesn't leave a legacy. As you look around at this place, talk to me of legacy. How do you counter the critics? You know, we're very 
privilege to be part of this development. It's one of the largest master plan communities that Toronto has ever taken. It's won numerous awards, uh, both uh, national and international. And, we, and once over 2,000 people start living here, it will be a, a real legacy for the next 20 to 50 years to come. Well, I wish you the very best with it, and thank you for showing me around, Jason. Thank you, Heather.